came up with it. But I think they are pushing it because it, the strengths today, I was addicted to opiates, and I can back you on the uh, Mexican drug cartels. Every major city I've lived in, from Vegas to Austin to Kansas City, the Mexicans run everything. I mean, they have it down to it's a business, and it, it's the mafia. It's not like Mexican Americans, it's illegals. Uh, but I, when I was living in Colorado Springs, they're predicting for the 2014, the net. Uh, tax profit was sixty million. In July, it was already over a hundred million. What they what they're going to do and what they need to do is they they don't need to legalize it, but that's what they're going to do to, to, uh, to get a control on it. And then all the cannabis is going to be lower quality. It's going to be filled with poisons, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it's going to cannabis is the single thing that got me off opiates. It's a lifesaver. Uh, I don't think you should be doing it as a party drug, you know, but if, if a physician can prescribe you, you know, enough opiates to bring down a hundred men, you know, per day, mm-hmm. then they should be able to prescribe this. This is something I've been very passionate about it, is this drug war. It's affected almost every one of my friends, everybody in my family. Uh, it's a, it's a huge farce and it's the same thing with the guns. And I, I really appreciate the time, David, God bless your crew in Washington. God bless Alex Jones on the road. I got to be one of the top hundred, InfoWars supporters have been doing it for about, you know, 13 years now. Well, thank God you so much, you David. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not a marijuana user, but it bothered me decades ago that they were using it to destroy our entire legal process, to take away our rights to have trials, to take away our right to even be charged with a crime, that they could punish us by confiscating our uh, physical possessions without even charging us with a crime. I saw this happening to people over and over again. That bothered me. The corruption, the increase in crime that always comes with any kind of prohibition, that bothered me. But one of the things, as you pointed out, the medical uses of marijuana, that's the thing that really bothers me. How can we shut our hearts to people who need this desperately as the only thing that can help them to get their appetite back to uh, the an effective uh, treatment for Glaucoma or for high blood pressure. There's so many different things that marijuana is effective for. And yet we just harden our hearts to these children who are dying of cancer or people who can't keep anything down, who can't eat anything or throwing up constantly, who can be helped. People who have said that the only thing that works for them. I remember a case 20 years ago, Peter McWilliams, he wrote a book called Is Nobody's Business If You Do. And he had AIDS. And the only thing that would keep him with the medication that he was taking, the only, it was like a chemo uh, patient. Uh, everything that he would take would uh, try to eat, he would throw back up. The only way that he could keep anything down was by using marijuana. And he explained that to the judge. The judge threw him in jail to keep him from violating his order of taking medical marijuana. And this man, Peter McWilliams, died in jail choking on his own vomit. I'm disgusted to live in a country like that. I'm disgusted to live in a country where a Terry Chavo can be starved to death by the government. The people who try to give her any water are arrested and taken away. I'm disgusted to see somebody like Jeb Bush, who was governor of Florida and who could have helped Terry Chavo, who could have come in and intervened over the orders of a probate judge who murdered her. Give me a break. He could have intervened. George Bush could have intervened. They sent in the National Guard to stop uh, segregation orders. Are you going to send in the National Guard to stop a judge from killing a helpless woman? I think that should end any claims to a presidential campaign that the Bushes have, especially Jeb Bush. He was on the scene. He had the authority to override that. He had the authority to allow people to give water and food to someone and let her die. And they're letting people die because they're withholding medical marijuana. And he was on that side of the issue, along with this casino pimp who spent millions of dollars to try to keep that from happening in Florida. And they came really close to having it pass anyway. It just wasn't the supermajority that they needed. Uh, let's go to uh, Wolverton in Tennessee. Wolverton? Uh, Wolverine. Uh, Sorry, Wolverine. Wolverine. Sorry. No, no, you're good. Um, I just want to talk about how if you look on the back of a police car, it says government service. That should be changed. They work for us. They're public servants. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and it's the duty of the people to inform. Their, I mean, I don't understand why people just don't care because you, after all the, you know, the Eric Garner case, 
you know, on Fox News, you would see, oh, if you just listen to police, if they ask to search your car, let them uh, search your car because you have nothing to hide. That's bogus. You know, Benjamin Franklin said it best. Those that would sacrifice essential liberty for a little safety deserve neither and should lose both. And I completely agree with that statement. And I think you had brought up Edward Snowden said, if you say you have nothing to hide, you don't care about the Fourth Amendment, then you don't care about that right. That's right. And you basically don't don't acknowledge it. That's right. And it, there was a, and, and along those lines, I would just repeat that quote from that article by Julian Assange yesterday. We have an article up today. Uh, Assange says the U.S. is prosecuting Barrett Brown for quoting an assassination threat that was against me. It wasn't against the FBI. It was against Julian Assange. I'll read that quote when we come back. It's absolutely amazing how the government can twist and pervert the truth. And that's why we should be so worried about what's going on with the police state, with the surveillance state, with the training. As you pointed out, they need to be trained properly. They need to understand that they are working for the people and not for some authoritarian paramilitary organization. We'll be right back. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Yes, family and friends are gathering to give gifts and wish health and security. But why not enhance cell phone and wireless device security all year with Block It Pocket? A family-owned American business, we now have two spectacular holiday specials. Find them now at our new website, blockitpocket.com, or call 888-315-9618. Hurry, holiday special ends Christmas Day. Give the gift of security from blockitpocket.com, wishing you health, freedom, and liberty. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now, because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-852-1820. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-852-1820. That's 1-800-852-1820. Call 1-800-852-1820. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Cyrus Jones from 1810 to 1913 made his great grandchildren believe you could live to 103. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host on this Friday, December 19th. We've been trying to reach Alex, but he's in an area where we can't reach him. But he will be back for the Sunday show. That's at 4 p.m. Central, 4 to 6 on Sundays. Alex will definitely be back on Sunday. Now we're going to go back to your calls here, but before we do, I wanted to play one more thing. Oh. Before I play that clip, let me take it back one step further. We just had a caller who was uh, talking 
about uh, our basic rights and uh, the way things are twisted. And I wanted to repeat that quote yesterday we got from uh, Julian Assange, where he was talking about the prosecution of Barrett Brown was for quoting an assassination threat that was made against Julian Assange. Get that clip ready to play, guys. We'll play that clip for them. But he points out something I think is very interesting. He says, Twitter is a police interview that never ends. Facebook has all your friends wearing a wire. YouTube has you in the dock talking to the judge. He says, every social media user creates a vast library of statements that can be taken out of context by vengeful or ambitious officials. Users should be displayed their Miranda rights every time they log on to social media. And this is why Julian Assange said that. Let's play that clip. In the, in the, in, in the national security of the United States, the way to deal with this is pretty Fox simple. News. we got special ops forces. I mean, a, a dead man can't leak stuff. This guy's a traitor, a treasonous, and, and, and he has broken every law of the United States. He's talking about Julian Assange. Be, and I'm not for the death penalty, so if I'm not for the death penalty, I only want to do it. Illegally shoot the son of a Well, Bob, what about it? Oh, I can't believe I believe what I'm, I'm along with Bob. You know what? When he comes out and says that he's holding everyone hostage, that he's going to release the names of people. There you go. So that's the Fox News clip where he says, let's illegally shoot the SOB. Okay? Now... When Barrett Brown posted on Twitter, he posted that. He said, dead men can't leak stuff, dot, 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 illegally shoot the SOB. And that was a quote that you just heard from Bob Beckel on Fox News, along with another Fox News commentator who said, yeah, let's just assassinate Julian Assange because he's giving out information that shows the criminal actions of our government abroad. He's the whistleblower. He's exposing crimes that our government is committing, and we haven't seen all these crimes yet. As I mentioned in the first hour, there's a video from Abu Ghraib, according to Seymour Hirsch, Hirsch, and I trust him. He's been a reliable source many years. He says that he's seen the video of U.S. soldiers in Abu Ghraib bringing the children of women who are imprisoned there, raping those children in front of the mothers, sodomizing the young boys. And the mothers are writing back letters saying, come and shoot me, I don't want to live anymore. That's what our government is doing. That's the kind of thing that Julian Assange was exposing. And he was threatened by the Fox News puppets saying, we ought to just shoot the guy. Now, when Barrett Brown gets angry because of the way he's been attacked for exposing criminal actions of our government, he retweets that action. Uh, that, that comment from uh, Bob Beckel saying, dead men can't leak stuff, let's just illegally shoot him. The FBI said that they were being threatened, that that was a threat against them because Barrett Brown was angry with them. And that's what they're trying to keep him in jail for another eight years. He's already been in jail for two years. That's how they will twist and take out of context anything you put on social media, so be careful. But then there's not just social media. They're going to grab information from you by eavesdropping on you, looking at your computer, listening to your telephone. That's the full spectrum tyranny that's there. So the solution isn't just that you can't say anything to anybody, that you have to zip your lip like you're living in East Germany. No, the solution is to shut down and, and incarcerate these criminals who are running our government. Sorry I didn't get your call, but I'm going to, we'll take it right after the uh, break at the top of the hour. We'll go back to the callers. We've got uh, Scott in California, Andrew in Washington, and many others. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And we have the reporters from Washington joining us next hour. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. 
Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139.